thanks for joining today's session and today we're going to talk about BS manufacturing and Protomex WMS integration. As you know, having uh, a manufacturing solution and a warehouse management solution like BS and Protomex integrated offers many benefits. It allows for seamless coordination and communication between the manufacturing and warehouse processes. WMS and BS integration streamline the flow of material and products, minimizing manual data entry and reducing errors, which we all like. This automation improves efficiency, reduces operational costs, and increases overall productivity. With both systems, Connected, it provides better traceability and quality control. It enables tracking of material and products throughout the entire manufacturing and warehousing process, ensuring compliance with regulations and facilitating recalls if necessary. So let's look how BS and WMS talk to each other in the system. If I open up SAP Business One, which you guys are familiar with, I have Protomex WMS running and also BS Manufacturing. Once you have both installed and you go to your configuration wizard on the BS side, you will see an additional menu. You will see a WMS menu. If here we go. So here is WMS. Here you tell the system, hey, I want to integrate WMS reservation system. Of course, I would say yes, you would, right? What kind of pick type you want to uh, create? Do you just want to create a pick list proposal or a pick list proposal and then a pick list? And of course, we want to enable the pick process. And we also want to create automatically a new LUID once I produce an item. Okay, so here is your configuration on the BS side for WMS. I want to go over and look at WMS. I know I have WMS also installed. On the WMS side, on the Protomex side, if I go right here into the organizational structure, you will see right here, I have my different warehouses. I'm going to open up this one and you will see I do have a production line on the WMS side, which is telling me, hey, this production line is on the BS side. And you see it right here. There's your type BS. Very important. And then you put a pick to location and an input location in here. Okay. You can also lock items picked to this location. You can do that too. So, on the BS side, you go to the configuration wizard. On the, double, uh, on the Podomex side, you make sure you have a BS production line assigned. Okay? So, what can you do? How do those two systems work uh, together? The first thing I want to show, I want to receive in material. Everything, you know, uh, logistics movements you're going to do on the WMS side because I have my scanner right here and everything manufacturing uh, is, of course, on the BS side. I have a purchase order here and what I want you to see is that you will be able, if you have a version control item and you purchase it, it will show on the scanner. So I'm pulling up my scanner. On the WMS side and I'm going to say purchasing, reception, where you want to receive it into. You guys know that. I'm pulling up my order which is 54 and no identical logistic Unix. I don't have a label. I'm gonna select the product and now it's asking me what version I'm receiving in. So that's beautiful. So it talks, it knows from the BS side, hey, this is a version controlled item. Which version are you receiving in? 
So that's one of the benefits right there already. They are talking to each other. Okay. So now let's go to our let's do go to our um, work orders. If I go to production, I go to work orders, and let's see how this is integrated, how that talks to each other. So I'm gonna pull up a work order here, and let's create a pick list for this work order, and then we pick it through uh, WMS. Protomix. So there is my work order. Nothing has been done yet to it, but I want to go ahead and create a pick list. So I can click here or on the item level, and I'm telling the system, hey, create a pick list for production. And you will see the pick list for production screen. I'm going to say pre assign everything. You also see here the Protomix and the BS. Um, uh, icons right here. Make sure your service is running on the BS side and also on the Podomic side, of course. And I'm telling it create the pick list. Okay. It's going to talk to the system and you see right here, it's creating the pick list. I'm going to reload it, uh, refresh it. So it goes a little bit faster and you will see the pick list will be created right here. Okay, there's my pick list proposal number. There is my wave number. If I go now out here and I refresh this work order, you will see that the pick list has been created. I see right here, those are pick lists. So now if I go to my inventory report on the WMS site, I'm gonna pull it up here. I'm gonna go back. Oh, there we go. And I'm going and I think one of the items was changer. They're making some drinks. And if I go to my lockings, you will see that this basically is already reserved and locked on the Podomix site because I created a pick list. So let me just make this screen a little bit bigger for you. Okay, and if I scroll all the way here, here it is, there is my pick list. Okay. Now what I want you to see is what happens then when I stop picking this item. So there is my pick list, it's under locking already. I'm going to minimize that and I'm gonna going to and open up my scanner and go back here, go to production and set pick list for production. So I'm gonna go to my here's my pick list. I'm gonna say next. And let's just pick one of them so you see the difference. Here is my changer. Let's go to the changer. Okay, uh, select the location. I'm going to select it really quick. Select the product. I don't have the scanner attached. Okay. And there we go. So I picked this item. So what I want you to see again, and this is the beauty, it talks to each other between the two solutions. If I go to my work order and I'm going to refresh this, still the same, but you see on the changer now, the icon change because I picked it on the lemon and water. It's still on the pick list. So that's how you can follow everything also on your work order. If I go to my inventory report to the locked quantity, I left it open. I'm going to refresh this and you see that this will change from pick list to the work order number. I think it's 237. I'm going to refresh this and you see here it changed to work order. So now it's, it's, it's telling you on the WMS that, Hey, this is reserved. This is locked for this work order. So full traceability, what's 
going on. Okay, so that was pick list for production. So another way what you can do, I'm gonna go to a different work order, and it's you know it's up to you what your process is. So I created a pick list, the pick list shows up, I have to pick what's on the pick list. Okay, now you can also do picking for production. Okay, so this is a, a, another uh, work order. So I can do picking for production. What's the difference? You don't create a pick list and you go to the scanner and you go directly to picking for production. And you will see that you have the uh, work orders from BS here. Okay, so we can just look it up. Here it is, the 238, position 10. I'm going to click next and let's just stick with the changer. And I'm going <clears throat> with the changer. Okay, uh, you can say alternative stock here, of course. You have a little bit more flexibility. Maybe I want to do this SSCC. Okay, there we go. Scan it in again, which you probably are familiar with. Do you want to move the full logistic units? No, we just want to have my five kilograms. Okay, and I'm going to put it where I'm, it's going to ask me where to put it to. Okay, input location. Okay, so what does this do to my work order? It, if I refresh it, you will see that the changer has been picked. And in this case, of course, if I go to locking again, it's also going to be there with the work order. I'm going to refresh this locking screen and you will see here it is. It just came in for two, three, eight. Okay, so beautiful traceability and uh, you know exactly what's going on between the two systems. So the other option, one more thing I want to show you. When you create a work order, I'm going to open up my position. Of course, you have some uh, more fields here. Here on the extended tab, you say which warehouse. This is my manufacturing warehouse. Which bin location do you want to set here as default when you receive items in? And right here, you see the a warehouse uh, WMS production line. Okay, in my case, I only have one, but you would have a drop down. And of course, you can automate that, uh, put logic in there, which production line should be there. Okay, so I didn't want to forget that. But the other thing I want to show you is because our customers use it is you create an SSCC and then you issue the SSCC for production gives you him more flexibility. Okay, so here we go again. That's another production order. And what I'm going to show you, I created already an SSCC. So what I did, I did an ad hoc move and... So if I pull up my inventory report, here is my SSCC I'm working with. I'm going to click OK and you will see that I have all three items I need for this work order uh, already put in one SSCC. OK, so now I want to issue it uh, to that work order. So let's go to the web app. I'm going to open it up from here. And I'm going to click on my application. Let me maximize it for you. It opened up on the other screen. I'm going to log on to it and you will have this menu now, this app work order issue by SSCC. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to look for my production order. And then all I have to do is take that SSCC and enter it right here and you're ready to go. Here are my three items. Green is good. If I would have a red line, then the, uh, the quantity wouldn't match. You will also see right here the LUID and the SSCC. 
and you save it and you can issue it straight from here. Uh, take an SCCC and issue it to your work order. Gives you great flexibility again. So you have many options. How do you want to work? The beauty is the two systems talk to each other. Okay. So here just a couple print screens again. What we saw today, you know, issuing by CCC. Do your pick list. Do your picking. Do picking for productions. Um, you know, make sure you have your production line on the work order assigned and so on. So that was a short overview. If you have more questions, you want to do a deeper dive, please do not hesitate to contact us at sales at boem-it.com. Thank you so much for watching.